All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the 300th consecutive cryptocurrency meetup in Manchester, New Hampshire, at Murphy's Tap Room with Yuri. Oh, hello. Pretty good, Yuri. Yuri. Yeah. <laughs> now, you may recall Yuri uh, was working on the Neocash Radio's Russian version of the show, which one day I really hope to get going again. But of course, there's a lot of other things to talk about. Yuri, your impression of the cryptocurrency meetup and how you've seen it change. Yeah, I like that it's a very friendly event, uh, and if I have some question, what's going on in crypto world, uh, what is some fork that's going on, some new technology, it's a place where I can find people who are knowledgeable. Sometimes they have different opinions, but usually it's uh, uh, opinions based on their knowledge, on, their, on facts that they know. But, you know, that's, that's the beauty, I guess, of a little libations. <laughs> it sort of loosens things up and gets well, the conversation going. Well, I've always found that the, uh, e even when people are passionately in disagreement, they're always respectful. They're always, you know, Yuri and I have disagreed on certain crypto things. But it, it's been always respectful, and, and it comes from a, a place of, uh, of knowledge where we just have different opinions. And that's what I really like about it is we get to talk it out, and many a times I've walked away from it saying, wow, like I, I never thought of that angle. And I'm glad I talked to Yuri or whoever else it was that made me look at it in a different way. Yes, meeting in real life uh, helps because when you're on, on the internet, some people tend, uh, tend to offend other people and don't feel the words. But when you talk face to face, sometimes it's more respectful and uh, n n nicer things. Happen. And it's also easier to kind of see what somebody means when you can see their face. I mean, facial expressions are important, and that's why getting together physically in the meet space is important. I mean, we can always be in a Bitcoin chat room all the time, yeah. but meeting people and, and hearing them firsthand of, of their experiences and how they use it. Yuri, tell me about some of the... Uh, some of your memories of, of past uh, meetups or, or some of the high points that you can recall. Uh, yeah, yeah so, so I've been to different meetups. Uh, currently in this city, we also have uh, Manchester blockchain meetup, which is more academic, like people from uh, universities uh, uh, come to talk, but also sometimes some libertarians with uh, ideas like... Uh, this uh, meetup uh, is more like uh, friends, like-minded individuals, more informal. Uh, also, many people have here, here some uh, uh, high education. And uh, for me, it was an interesting journey because uh, uh, being a libertarian from Russia, uh, I was trying to help the uh, libertarian party of Russia to accept bitcoins, and I helped set up the system in St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, and then Russian government uh, four years ago cracked down on organizations uh, dealing with uh, Bitcoin and then it was uh, put on hold for a while before it actually uh, blow up when many uh, opposition and uh, non-profit organizations in Russia started to accept cryptocurrencies. Thank you so much. <laughs>